Prayer will be today by our guest chaplain, uh, Chaplain uh, Angel Barrios, the 308th Military Intelligence Battalion, Fort Meade, Maryland. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we take time at this moment to acknowledge your presence with us here in this congressional chamber. We realize that without you, all our efforts are futile to make good and right decisions for the people of the United States. Your word says that not a sparrow falls to the ground without you being fully aware. So indeed, we are convinced of the truth that you govern in the affairs of men. Divine Holy Spirit, make yourself real to us by revealing truth about every issue that will be discussed on the floor today. Truth is powerful. Truth is necessary. And truth will bring true liberty of which our country has so long experienced. I rebuke the deceits of darkness that would attempt to deter us from true truth, which is your holy word. I ask these things according to your will. Therefore, no doubt, we hear this prayer. In your holy name I pray. Amen. The chair has examined the journal of the last day's proceedings and announces to the House his approval thereof. Pursuant to Clause 1 of Rule 1, of the journal stands approved. The Pledge of Allegiance today will be led by the gentleman from uh, New Jersey, Mr. Payne. I pledge allegiance. Without objection, the gentleman from Maryland, Mr. Ruppersberger, is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I am proud to introduce and to welcome uh, to Washington U.S. Army uh, Angel Berrios, who is currently, currently stationed at Fort Meade, located in the 2nd Congressional District of Maryland. Chaplain Berrios, a captain in the U.S. Army, has been an ordained minister with the Assemblies of God for 24 years. For nearly two decades, he served as a full-time evangelist ministering in 47 countries and 47 states. Chaplain Berrios then joined the Army and was assigned to the 3rd Squadron of the 3rd Armored Cavalry Regiment at Fort Hood. He was deployed to southern Iraq during Operation New Dawn and provided a church in the desert for 850 fellow American soldiers. In addition to regular services and Bible study, Chaplain Berrios counseled soldiers struggling with day-to-day -day life in a war zone. His ministry earned him a Bronze Star. His father, a Vietnam veteran, also served in the Army for 20 years. We welcome Cha uh, Chaplain Berrios and his guests today. I wish to thank him for his many years of service to his community and his country. I'm honored to call Chaplain Berrios a constituent, and I offer thanks on behalf of this entire body for his delivery of the opening prayer today. You're back.